what is up. Uh, today is the first vlog day where I'm actually just going to work on my normal schedule so we can follow that along. Uh, also, real quick, wanted to dive into the fridge to show you what the diet looks like for the day or most of the days. It varies a little bit, a little bit, but this is pretty much it. So let's get into it. All right, so we can see this right here is all me for the day. I've got a uh, protein shake which just has a scoop of protein and about five milligrams of creatine. Then right here, actually let me just pull these out. Way easier to see. Right here you can see those are just eggs. So I cook them up. Sometimes I'll do, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see the like breakfast cups that I do as well. And then for lunch, all that I have is these like sausage patties uh, that are really high in fat, which is good. And then what I'm going to do is eat that with a bag of lettuce. So you put some lettuce, maybe even some pico, um, I don't know, over the top of the, like the patty, and it's really good. But yeah, that's keto breakfast and lunch. I'll probably have that protein shake somewhere in the middle of the day, uh, just a splash of water, and then a decent amount of half and half goes into that. So it's a, I don't know, it's really quick, easy, and it's also inexpensive if, uh, you're doing it right. And that's another thing I think I'm going to do is break down the costs of what I'm doing and then kind of do like a whole bit on, uh, you know, how to get into this shape over the span of two months on this budget and this diet. So um, anyway, I'm just brainstorming ideas, but that is what we're looking at for breakfast and lunch. And I am going to go hit the road. All right. So just getting into the office, figured I'd do a quick like walk around of where I work and what I do. So, uh, essentially, this is, I work at a web agency and I do just like mobile or web development type stuff. Uh, but this is the office. It's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> pretty millennial. To, it's like a condo that's also an office. So we've just got like the relaxation area or whatever over here. And then the kitchen, ping pong table slash conf conference table. Uh, these are where all of us devs work and then up there are a couple other devs and uh, the owner All right, uh, that does it for the day Heading home. I uh, I normally like I try to avoid naps at all possible uh, But I only got like three hours of sleep last night because I was putting together a video for the company I work for and anyway I think it'll be better if I go to the gym later so I can record without uh, interfering with other people. Yep, so that's the game plan. Oh, the point being, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go probably take a nap for a little bit, have some dinner, work on uh, some side projects, and then uh, and then hit the gym. Chest and tries today. So, I'm very excited about that. Got tons of things to point out. And yeah, it's gonna be a good video. So, let's get home. Go time. All right, so I said that I was gonna nap when I got home, but uh, my buddy sent me this like super motivational video. So even though I'm running on, I think like three or four hours of sleep, I got back and uh, and just kept working. So I've got a ton of stuff. Just got the Sparta Fitness channel up and running. First video is out, so go check it out, uh, especially if you're seeing this as the second video. So, are you ready for this? Get shredded on keto. Essentially just leg day. Uh, yeah, really fun to put these videos together and they are just gonna keep coming. That's everything. I'm gonna work on another website that I'm building for a different side project for the next hour or so. Head to the gym and get that voiceover of chest and tries. Uh, there also was, I'm kind of excited about these videos because as I record and give tips on different lifting techniques, I realized some things that I could improve upon. And so in my squat video that I put out, I talked about the butt dip that happens and you actually don't want to have too much butt dip. Um, and it's just all about, I already, I said this in the video, but it's all about keeping your back straight. So I'll probably do a follow up to that. Um, just explaining more in depth, the proper technique and uh, learn from my own, I guess, advice and research. All right, it's gym time, but it's also so cold out. <sighs> Power through. All 
Also, what door locks to the right? Did you see that? I just turned it right to lock it. Whatever. Down we go. All right, let's get into the lift for the day. Uh, as you, as I mentioned, I'm doing uh, chest tries. I do abs at the end, and also a little bit of forearms thrown in there. And I'm starting off with just this flat uh, single arm dumbbell press. And I want to point something out right at the beginning here, which I kind of wanted wanted to edit out. But look at my shoulder as I drop down on this first set or on this first rep. You see that I kind of lost my balance, and that brings up something really important. And that's to retract your shoulder blades or to keep your shoulders back in tight whenever you're doing any sort of chest or pressing motion. So we really want to concentrate all of that effort onto uh, the pec muscle. And uh, if you don't do that, then you can risk, risk shoulder injury. And so like on that first rep where I kind of lost it or like I lost the lock that I had, um, that's like what's going to strain those muscles or even cause injury. So. Uh, you want to keep your shoulder blades back as far as possible and keep your whole body tight obviously even through your legs like your feet are going to be a source of power uh, make sure that your whole body is stable is the point now to the actual part about doing single arm instead of uh, like two dumbbells at once or even a barbell bench press is that I have like a pec imbalance so or at least I think I do so my right side is bigger than my left and the way that I'm dealing with that is I'm just doing eight reps on my right side which is my stronger side and then I'm going up to 10 or 11 even 12 on the left side to essentially rebalance out that um, like the muscle growth I have and I do the same thing for incline in just a bit here moving on to the next workout I'm just doing uh, these like what are they curved bar s bar uh, tricep skull crushers so for this make sure to keep your uh, your elbows pointed as far forward as you can Again, we want to concentrate on keeping all of the pressure, that mind-muscle connection. So you want to make sure that you're like really putting that energy into your triceps and away from things like your chest or your shoulders, whatever else it may be. So uh, keep those arms forward, lock towards your body, essentially. Uh, and I just do, and then I also superset it with these um, just like close grip, put uh, essentially presses. The reason for that is because it's getting, it's not really doing much for your chest, but it's kind of like burning out your triceps at the end, and you're also getting a nice um, chest squeeze in there. Moving on to, well, what I actually do in between those, uh, so I do three sets of eight to 12 for those skull crushers, and then what I did in between them was essentially these. Um, just like forearm rows and and the reason for that is because I just I don't know I want to grow my forearms and this is an easy way to do it I uh, it cuts down on my rest time and you'll see I do one set underhand one set overhand so it's not taking away from the rest on my triceps and I'm able to work in another muscle group in there and I really like these the burn that you get similar to like that burn that you get when you're doing abs so one other thing incline single arm dumbbell press uh, one thing that I wanted to know on the first press as well is that you'll see where my hand is I'm like feeling my my pec and the reason for that is so that we're getting again that people always talk about that mind muscle connection uh, But it's really a thing drop down in your in your weight or to a weight That's comfortable and feel the muscle that you're working contracting and releasing uh, You can feel the different like even the I guess the striations in it like the really hone in on pressing or almost I like to think of it as like tearing the muscle and that's what we're doing to grow them right is we're tearing our muscle breaking it down so that it regrows larger um, so I'm really focusing in not to put that energy elsewhere but really focus in on that pec um, like tearing apart and you'll see that I do that on a lot of my workouts I mentioned that in the last video as well moving on to the next exercise um, I really like doing these just pretty low weight like tricep reach backs uh, and what I try to do is pause for a second at the top. I'm not pausing that much in uh, in these clips, but I just do either side. I do sets of like 12, so I do three or four sets of 12 reps. And <clears throat> when you pause at the top like that, it, you can really feel it. Again, I'm all about that mind-muscle connection, and I really feel that that pressure on your tricep when you're doing those. Next workout is a... Uh, you can either do cable flies or I've got this machine at uh, the Anytime Fitness that I'm going to and I really like it. <laughs> it comes back, I know I keep saying this, but it comes back to that mind-muscle connection which I really feel on this machine. 
And then to also work out that imbalance that I was talking about, you'll see I do, uh, I believe, a set of, I think I'm shooting for uh, like 8 to, again, 8 to 12. That's the range that we're going to shoot for to build muscle or hit that hypertrophy. And then what I do is I drop down the weight and I just do a single arm on my left side, the weak side that I'm trying to grow larger for an extra three or four sets. And so for this, I, you see uh, I'm feeling that pec again. And the reason for that is so that I can really focus in where that, um, where that effort's going to be exerted, essentially. All right, moving on to another one of my favorites, uh, just dips. So for this, make sure that your body is as straight as possible, that you're not um, leaning too far forward because then you're going to start getting your shoulders into it and also your uh, like chest to a certain extent. But we really want to work our triceps here. Uh, so make sure that you're getting a good depth, that your body's staying straight. And again, uh, three sets of around 10. And then finally finishing off the day with abs. This is one of my favorite uh, ab exercises, essentially just leg raises. And uh, you could do this on just like hanging as well. But I did it on this like little medicine ball thing. I try to keep my back off of it as much as possible, but it's nice that it's there for when I really want to like dig deep and uh, hold my legs out as long as possible before they drop down. And then to finish off the day, I did these like oblique raises. It's a great way to, to finish it off. All right, just got done at the gym. Had to rush out of there because I realized Chipotle closes in 12 minutes. And I gotta have some Chipotle. Uh, clearly not doing intermittent fasting today, but I'll do a little physique update when I get back and uh, walk through, well, yeah, essentially hit as you just saw because I did the edit, uh, chest, tries, and a little bit of abs, and that's more or less the routine. I throw other workouts in, but there's only so much that you can film. Also, I uh, try to be pretty inconspicuous with it. Go time. Uh, yeah, so all in all, good workout. I should probably be careful. It's a bit icy out here. It's a bit icy out here. Oh, it was a close call. But we made it. 9.59. Got the Chipotle. Heading home. Quick uh, physique update, I guess. And then, uh, and then we're calling it a night. I am my truck cut me off. Uh, I'm wiped. That's what I tried to say. Wiped. I'm so freaking tired. <laughs> uh, almost a bit delusional. This damn seatbelt. I'm just going across the road. Anywho. All right, so this is what you do when you're running low on food. I just got two side orders of meat. I probably should have just gotten the rest of the toppings at Chipotle. Douse that thing in cheese. Throw some spinach on there. Put a little hot sauce. Good to go. Thank you, Chipotle. And uh, as for the physique update, uh, this is where this is where we're at after chest day. Some tries, horseshoes coming in. Um, as you saw, I did some abs. So keto is going well. Definitely feel like I've got a nice little pump going right now. Um, yeah. So all in all. Uh, except for feeling pretty wiped on energy. So I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, so essentially, I went, I did keto for like a month, all of December. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, I went back to Washington for like two weeks for Christmas and New Year's, and I just binged. So I had like a bunch of donuts and pizza and all that stuff. So um, it's January, I think, 16th today. And I'm sorry, I'm like winded, but I'm going through the whole keto process again because I kind of kicked myself out of it so I'm feeling super drained on energy and also my lists feel like they're down a little bit but um, I can definitely feel the like the leaning out coming back in um, I'm getting to the point where I want to be so anyway yeah feeling feeling good um, and I'm gonna get the site updated pretty soon these vlogs are gonna keep going out all in all very excited for what's to come and on that note, I'm gonna go eat that food and head to bed because I am wiped. Did I already say that? I probably said that like a dozen times. Anyway, have a good night and uh, keep at it.